winners in waiting. The three by three, hopefully winners to come. Uh, we start off with a bumper horse that caught my eye a couple of times and could even be running, hopefully, at Newbury on February the 11th this Saturday. Piano Concerto of Andy Turnell. Andy's having a few winners recently, which is nice to see for the stable. And Piano Concerto was running at Ascot when I was there recently. And I know, speaking to Andy, that uh, he was worried a bit about the sort of soft ground. Uh, so that remains a problem. But certainly come the spring and some nice spring-like weather on good bouncy ground, Piano Concerto is a horse that I'm sure will be winning a race. Whether it be a bumper or whether it be a hurdle, he will certainly be winning a chase when he gets a bit older because he's one of those good old fine sort of raw boned fashioned horses that Andy Tunnell likes and he's one to keep on the right side of. And Piano Concerto right over on the far side, but shut the front door, and the colours of J.P. McManus has got to go on and win the bumper in good style. From Claret Cloak, third then was Piano Concerto, big run. Next up, on the all-weather, Cambridge Duchess has been catching the eye. Now had the three runs for a handicap mark, and it looks like the handicap has taken almost the form literally, and he's getting in off a rating probably in the mid-50s. That makes him definitely a winner in waiting. He's run over seven furlongs, six furlongs, five furlongs for the three races. But my reading of his breeding and the way he's running is, when he steps up to a mile plus, he could be one to follow and should be winning sooner rather than later. Another all weather one. Very hot off the press this last Saturday. Gabriel the Hero, latest of Dr. Marwin Kukash's stable to come out from David Simcock's yard. Saw him in the paddock, made a very big tick next to him, but unfortunately he was too green in the race, running on late when the penny dropped. He's bound to win next time out, I'd be brave enough to say, because he's a really nice horse in the making, and I think they'll run him again on the all-weather, win his maiden, and then one to follow through the turf season as well. From the back, staying on is Gabriel the Hero, but good of luck, he looks smart, he wins well. Gabriel the Hero second, Scatterdice third, and then came Broughton Place from Marmas, who stayed on, then Maxi Yao.